best dash cam resolution. I'm Ben from Safe Drive Solutions, your dash cam specialist. And today we're going to talk about the differences between common dash cam resolutions, misleading marketing by a lot of the dash cam companies that make you think you're getting a 4K dash camera, but really you're not. We're also going to have some comparison video of the differences between 1080p, 2K, and 4K, just to give you an idea of how much more you can do with a better resolution dash camera. Let's go. 1080p versus 2K versus 4K. If you're scouring the internet in search of the latest dash camera technology, you may run into a few confusing tech specs. Dash cam resolution is one of the most important specifications to pay attention to, as these will affect your video quality. Good video quality can mean the difference between capturing every single aspect of an incident or capturing a blurry moment in time. There are many different resolutions on the market, currently 720p, 1080p, 2K, and 4K. Obviously, the higher the resolution, the clearer the picture. This is important for capturing video in dim light, nighttime, or dusk, or picking up details such as license plate information. So which dash cam resolution is right for you? Let's begin with 1080p. The 1080 refers to the amount of pixels that run vertically down a screen while having 1920 pixels running horizontally. Although 1080p devices have been around for many years now, it remains the industry standard for many video or display devices. It's also the default setting on YouTube and Netflix. 1080p, while being excellent picture quality, remains the lowest resolution among our dash cams. This doesn't mean they're bad. In fact, most vehicle owners would be thrilled with the picture quality from their 1080p dash camera. However, 2K and 4K displays offer a sharper, clearer image that allows for a more robust capture. 2K, also known as QHD or 1440p. The difference between 2K and 1080p resolutions. Next on the dash cam resolution hierarchy are the 2K dash cams. 2K is a bit of a catch-all term used to describe devices that capture or display over 2,000 horizontal pixels by 1080. The difference in pixels between a 1080p dash cam and a 2K dash cam can be a few hundred thousand to 1.6 million pixels. This means 2K dash cams can be of exceptional quality in comparison to 1080p. Most proper 2K dash cameras are 2560 pixels horizontally and 1440 pixels vertically, so a lot more detail compared to a 1080p camera. This allows for a much wider, much clearer view with a lot more detail. This is especially apparent when you zoom in it retains clarity far better than a 1080p dash cam would. When you want a reliable dash cam that will pick up clear images of street signs, license plates, and other minute details, which can significantly assist you in case of a claim, then a 2K dash cam might be for you. 4K, also known as UHD. Now for the granddaddy of them all, the 4K resolution dash cam. 4K, just like 2K, refers to the number of pixels running horizontally on a display. It's a generic term that encapsulates two different resolutions. 3820 up to 4096 horizontal pixels by 2160 vertical pixels. 4K is four times the resolution of 1080p. That means zooming in on this footage is completely seamless, allowing for a full and vivid picture of what was captured, even at super high zoom levels. Unfortunately, in the dash cam industry, there are some pretenders. If you've been looking for a 4K dash camera, you may have noticed some discrepancies in quality from one 4K dash cam to the next. That's because some companies have cheated the specs and utilized poor chipsets, which are actually just recording in HD and resizing the image to 4K. 
Like, for instance, a lot of manufacturers mislead by using fancy words like today's most advanced and powerful 4K car dash cam featuring the Sony Starvis IMX ultra low light 5 megapixel CMOS sensor. So now let's take a look at this Rove 4K dash cam. It's one of the top sellers on Amazon. You can see clearly that it uses a 5 megapixel Sony Starvis image sensor, which is interesting because all the real 4K dash cameras on the market, as you can see here, are all using 30, they're all 3840 by 2160, and they're using an 8 megapixel Sony Starvis image sensor. But this Rove is only doing 2880 by 2160. That's interesting, and it's only using a 5 megapixel image sensor. So is this considered a true 4K camera? Well, I guess according to Rove it is, but according to the information and specs that are available today, technically it's not a real 4K camera, right? So we even have this review that I found from Jeremy on the Rove camera saying, not real 4K, it's actually just a 2K camera, right? And like the camera, as a 2K dash camera goes, this is not real 4K. It is using a 4 megapixel CMOS that is artificially adding pixels to give you a 2K picture blown up to the size of a 4K. It is no better picture quality than a 2K dash camera, which he already owned. So this is the thing. If a 4K camera is priced so good that you can't believe how well priced it is, chances are it probably is too good to be true. And there's plenty of other dash cameras on Amazon that I was going through trying to find the specs. And the majority of them just list as a 4K camera. They won't list whether they're using a 5 megapixel, 8 megapixel sensor. The reason why is because if you list your 5 megapixel, you're already done. Well, Rove made the mistake of listing that they actually were a 5 megapixel. They also, like I said, put that they were 2880 by 2160. So they actually weren't even using, they're not even doing a full um, 3840 by 2160, which is pretty much the industry standard for a 4K resolution uh, dash camera. So just some of the things that you wanna look for when you are buying camera. All of our dash cameras that we currently sell here, we test every single one of them before we start selling them. So they're all put into my car, we test them all, we make sure that they actually perform the way they do. If they do not meet what we feel our customers are going to expect from us, we actually just won't even sell the product at all. Because the last thing we want to do is mislead our customers or sell them a subpar product just because it has that brand name on it. And there's some big brands out there on the market where we do support them and we do have that brand. And you may see that there's a few SKUs we don't sell. And that's because we didn't feel that they were performing to what they want us to charge people. My final thoughts on dash cam resolution is if you are looking for a dash camera where you want to have a high chance of picking up license plates, look at a 2K or 4K camera. Just make sure you're actually looking at the specs and be careful because a lot of people, you know, like we've been showing you, they have cheap cameras, they list them as 4K, they hide all the specs and they make you think you're getting a really good deal that is not good quality. Try and keep Try and deal with reputable companies that actually specialize in dash cameras if you are worried about making that purchase. Now, if you just want to make sure to actually catch incidents on the road, you're not worried about all those little finer details like the detail of the stop sign and the detail of a license plate or anything like that, well, then you know what? You're probably going to be more than fine with a 1080p dash camera. At least having a dash camera is a better investment than having none at all. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have questions, definitely leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks again. Cheers.